So it was extremely hard for me to uh, close our, our cathedral and, and all the parishes of our diocese. Uh, people will be uh, used to coming to church on Sunday and uh, this Sunday our churches are closed uh, so it'd be uh, our, our people will really miss not being able to connect with each other this weekend. The restrictions would be in effect beyond Easter so we're planning for that now and we're uh, thinking of uh, using something like live casting uh, to have uh, the services here but privately uh, not to have the public involved and then to live stream those uh, Easter services, the services of uh, Holy Week uh, to our people and make it available to them. It's a big change, something that I haven't experienced. I've been in the diocese for uh, 17 years and uh, we've never experienced anything like this. It's really uncharted territory for us. There's one truth and uh, science and, and faith don't uh, contradict each other. Uh, and so the, uh, the, the measures that we're taking are, are called for for all of the citizens uh, of our country. Uh, we want to put a stop to the spread of the uh, COVID virus. Um, and so we have to participate in that as well to protect our own people, but to protect uh, our, our community from the spread of the virus. It's, uh, it's been hard. It's been, especially this weekend was the first time without our uh, communities, and so I certainly miss that. Uh, it's different doing it over the uh, uh, in electronic means uh, and uh, for us it's important to connect one and one with people and and that's certainly what I I find a big uh, uh, I'm missing that quite a bit my message to our people uh, and uh, really to all of us in the wider community is that uh, we've got to take this very seriously uh, we've got to stop the spread of COVID-19, uh, but we also have to be aware of uh, new opportunities for us, that uh, uh, being isolated uh, is not what helps us build community, and so we have to take opportunities to reach out to our neighbor. Simple gestures like giving them a phone call that we wouldn't have done before, sending them an email, especially those that are most vulnerable at this time. and. Uh, to have the confidence that if we are working together in our communities, uh, we, we will overcome this.